Hello, welcome, I'm so happy you're here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how to create the reality where someone cares, someone else cares about your feelings. So of course, we all want this. We want to be partnered with people who care about our feelings, even in our friendships. We want people to care about our feelings, but I'm really gonna focus on uh, with your specific person or with someone that you wanna be romantically involved with, how do you create the reality where they care about your feelings? This is a really important topic. I don't think I've ever done a video quite like this, so I'm excited to jump into it with you. Before I do jump in, please make sure you're subscri subscribed to my channel in the corner or below. Also know that I have something super special coming out for you guys very soon. And if you want to be the first to know about it, please sign up with the link in the pinned comment below. I'll also put a comment or a um, link in the description below. It's something secret. I'm gonna be telling you more about it in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned, be watching, but I have something very special, especially for all of you manifesting a specific person. So click that link and just sign up and you'll hear more about it soon. Okay, let's jump into this. How do you create a reality where someone cares about your feelings? So I know for myself in my life, it has felt, first of all, really painful when someone I've been romantically involved with does not care about my feelings. That is not a fun experience to have. I imagine a lot of us know what that is like. Um, it can also feel incredibly painful when not only someone doesn't care about your feelings, but almost your feelings feel like a burden to them. You know, I remember experiences with one of my exes where like me sharing about a vulnerable thing just it was almost like he um, not only did he not care, he didn't want to hear about it. It was like a burden to him to hear about my my vulnerabilities or something like really vulnerable for me. So that is, of course, a very hard experience when you're with someone who you care about and you feel like they're not really caring for your feelings. Um, also on the flip side of that, like one of the cornerstone aspects of being in a relationship that feels really good from my perspective, the type of person I am, is being with someone who can really hear me and understand me in all variations of like who I am. So, you know, with you guys, you guys see kind of like one version of me. You see the teacher in me, you see the the guide, you see the person who, you know, I'm I'm an expert at what I teach you guys and you see that that version of me. But you know, in relationship, more parts of me show up and th that includes like vulnerable parts, parts that maybe feel, um, you know, scared at times. I mean, it doesn't happen to me too, too much, but I actually did recently have this experience. I'll tell you a little bit more about it. And it's like a vulnerability comes up and um, I, yeah. And so that part of me really wants to be seen and held by the person that I'm with. So how do we create a reality where someone cares about our feelings? I feel very strongly about this. I have done this work. I know this realm very, very well. If you guys know my teachings, you probably get that I you know, am, have gone really deep into these types of realms of, um, you know, we could call it self-love, inner child work, uh, psychology, all of this stuff. And what I believe firmly, because I've experienced it in my own life so dramatically, is the way to create, the number one way to create a reality where someone cares about your feelings. And the number one thing that you should do that should not be skipped over is you have to learn to show up for yourself in vulnerable spaces and hold yourself through vulnerable feelings. So what do I mean by this? Well, primarily I mean inner child work. And what inner child work is to me is when our triggers, we, most of us have them. I mean, if you don't have them, that's great. Congratulations. Um, you're like one in a million or, or, or more or less, whatever it would be. But like, it's just, we have triggers. We have times in our life and in our relationships where we feel like, we might be left, we feel like in, we're insecure, we don't feel loved, we don't feel chosen. These types of 
uh, inner experiences. And what I, I refer to this as the inner child. Often we have a pattern of repeating a particular wound in relationships. So for a lot of people, this is being abandoned or being left, same thing as being abandoned, or um, maybe being betrayed, being lied to, these types of experiences. And usually we can trace that back to a wound in your past. And it's like a way that your you as a little child was hurt you take that wound with you. Another big one, um, especially for men, a big one is not being enough. Not, you know, that's another huge one. So we have a particular wound from our childhood and it, it basically has created a belief system without us knowing it. And this is why we go into relationships and we create the same type of pattern, whether it's being left or you know, again, being betrayed or being lied to or not being chosen, whatever it is, it's usually we're replaying a wound. So that's what I call the inner child. It's that part of you that is still carrying some sort of wound and, and you may not even be conscious of it. But what you see is that you replay some sort of pattern in relationships. So the way to break these types of patterns, and again, I know this because I have done this work. I've done this work so deeply and I have seen the changes in myself. And I want to talk to you, or I want to tell you in a second about a story of me approaching my partner in a really vulnerable space and how he met me. And I just knew it was because I've done this work myself. So first, let me, let me just continue with what I was saying, which is inner child work is learning to show up for, I put my hand on my heart for a reason, like, and I put my arm around my body, show up for that, that inner wounded self. When you feel triggered, when you don't feel good enough, when you feel left, it's learning to come in and literally hold and soothe that part of you because that part does feel like a little child that is scared. Really, that part is scared that love is going to leave. If you can learn to do inner child work like this, where when you feel triggered, when these bad feelings come up, you learn to come in, swoop in and, and pick up your inner child, hold your inner, inner child like you are a mother or a father, a loving mother or father to this little one inside of you. Of course, it's all happening within. If you can learn to hold yourself in this way, um, what you're going to find is that part of you that expects these bad things to happen is going to soothe and you're going to have less and less of these patterns repeating in your life. So that is definitely what I've experienced in my life. I have very few experiences of feeling abandoned, uh, feeling betrayed, feeling lied to. So much of that, the reason I like don't have those experiences that much is because like very rarely is because I've done this inner work and, and literally it's like my whole system really believes that she is safe, that she's going to be cared for, she's going to be loved. And so much of that has been inner child work. So what inspired me to do this video is, um, I'd say like it was over a, a week ago now, maybe a couple weeks ago. I, for the first time in my relationship, had some really strong vulnerabilities arise. And um, it was an experience of fear that I wasn't going to be chosen and fear that I was being left, like something in this area. These feelings kind of rarely arise for me, but it just happened to spike. It came in, you know, through my partner and I just relating in a particular way. It happened. The trigger came up. And I went, you know, so I had the experience and I immediately talked to him about it. I mean, I actually wasn't, I was like upset. I was crying. We were in an interaction. Like I was really upset. I was in the trigger, but I knew, I knew that I was, and I was able to express to him, not in any blaming way or any, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't going after him in any way, but I was just, just sharing through and also crying this like really vulnerable space. And what I felt in him, which probably like at this point is like the most evolved experience with a man in the face of my feelings, what I felt in him was just absolute tenderness and love towards me 
and that vulnerable part of me. There was no part of him that was pushing that experience away. There was no part of him that was pushing that part of me away. There was no part of him that was taking blame for what I was feeling either. Often that's why people push our feelings away. They feel like they're being blamed and so, you know, it can get really messy. But he was not doing any of that. And in fact, he was so loving and cherishing specifically to that part of myself. And what I could see and what I knew was like, of course, of course he's being that way, you know, because I have been that way to myself. That's how I show up for her. I show up with that level of care for her, that little inner child, that wounded self I have in my life. So of course I'm with a man who has the capacity and love to show up for me in that way too. 100% it is a direct reflection. I have never imagined him being, you know, that's never really been part of my visualizations with him. Um, I guess deep connection, very deep connection has always been part of my manifest, like my active manifestation with him, but not so much him holding me in, in my tender or wounded spaces that just hasn't been alive for me, but he really did show up that way. It was one of the first times, kind of the first time that like we've been in that situation. And so, um, it was so beautiful and it was so obvious to me that again, the reason he showed up that way is because I have learned to show up that way for myself. So if you are interested in doing deep inner child work or work to heal your wounds in relationships, I do have a course called Free Yourself down there. People tell me that course has changed their lives. I, I mean, I think probably thousands of people have taken that course by this, by this point and people have told me it's, it has, is a game changer. It has changed their lives. So if you want to dive deeper, deeper into this type of work, check out that course below. And that's my video for today. Thank you for being here. I'm so happy you're here. Please make sure you subscribe, like, and comment below, and I'll see you soon.